Hey guys, welcome back to Film Truth. Today we'll talk about why My Feet Are Killing Me is a better show than 90 Day Fiancé. Let's head into it. My Feet Are Killing Me. My foot is a time bomb. I'm at the point where my foot could kill me. TLC's My Feet Are Killing Me, a reality show that's given new meaning to the phrase putting your best foot forward, premiered in January 2020. Dr. Ebony Vincent and Dr. Brad Schaefer, two podiatrists who, according to the network's introduction, have never encountered a foot too quirky to cure, were introduced into the series. TLC added that the new series would follow the doctors as they tackle some of the most jaw-dropping, eye-popping foot problems ever seen on television, with Vincent located on the West Coast and Schaefer on the East. Following the premiere of Dr. Pimple Popper, it was evident that our audience wanted even more powerful and touching stories of medical transformation, stated TLC president and GM Howard Lee, vowing to take viewers on emotional roller coaster trips to their happy finishes. My Feet Are Killing Me is about repairing feet and altering lives, from people with additional toes to a patient with Proteus disease, formerly known as Elephant Man's disease. With roughly 2.8 million viewers coming into the opening episode, the new series made an immediate impression. There's a lot to learn about this one-of-a-kind show, so get ready to learn the untold truth about TLC's My Feet Are Killing Me. TLC adopted a unique promotional tactic to raise attention to its new show, My Feet Are Killing Me, ahead of the premiere of the first episode. A gnarly looking pixelated foot displayed at the bottom of the screen, along with the show's logo, during broadcasts of other TLC programming. Viewers, on the other hand, were perplexed, and many of them rushed to Twitter to voice their confusion, and in some cases, outrage. Hello at TLC, remove your foot from the corner of my television. It's quite irritating. On Twitter, one user expressed his dissatisfaction. I'm not sure whose idea it was at TLC to put this foot at the bottom of the screen, but they ought to be fired immediately, commented another. In addition to the concerns, there were the typical attempts at Twitter humor, such as this one. Please at TLC, put an end to the it doctors and shows on terrifying foot problems. I can't handle any more of these commercials during my otherwise normal shows about polygamists, 90 day fiancés, small people and individuals who can't afford a good home with lottery money. Why not let 90 day fiancé and seeking sister wife viewers to watch their shows in peace? Dr. Ebony Vincent has a YouTube channel in addition to her Instagram account. There are videos there where she describes how she treats foot problems like plantar fasciitis, ingrown toenails and neuroma a painful nerve tumor that can develop between toes. In one video, the actress of TLC's My Feet Are Killing Me revealed her pre-surgery cleaning procedure, which has been fictionalized numerous times in TV medical dramas. It's actually quite a careful operation, as she illustrated, involving a sterilized single-use scrub brush and even a little pick placed beneath fingernails to wipe out any muck. Count to 10 carefully for each section of the hand that you're going to be cleaning, she instructed as she scrubbed her hands, wrists and forearms all the way up to her elbows with the brush. It takes a long time, she admitted, but it assures that everyone is clean and sanitary and that no bacteria or infection enter the patient's body part. Dr. Ebony Vincent detailed the message she wants to get across with TLC's My Feet Are Killing Me in an interview with Podiatry.com, while also slamming rival A&E series The Toe Bro by highlighting the differences between the two shows. If we only focus on the gross component, we might as well be the toe bro, she added, noting that she wants My Feet Are Killing Me to sell our profession as something crucial to the medical world in terms of general health and sell it as a surgical specialty as well. Vincent explained to present e-learning systems that My Feet Are Killing Me is attempting to cover all aspects of podiatry. I think it was vital for both Dr. Brad and I to display the variety of what we have to offer, she said. While the show's major purpose is to show viewers some fairly horrific looking feet, that isn't the show's major aim. According to Vincent, you'll also see more sophisticated surgeries. You'll get a sense of the breadth of our education. And that's one of the most important points Dr. Brad and I wanted to make. What a great message and a great show over Overall, unlike 90 Day Fiancé. Also, make sure you're writing your thoughts in the comment section. 90 Day Fiancé Although there are no scripts passed around when the stars of 90 Day Fiancé film their scrimmages for the screen, is someone still tugging the strings? When fans see most of the TLC show's dramatic situations develop, they're typically taken aback by the reality show's realism. However, there are numerous clues that 90 Day Fiancé is a hoax. No one knows this better than the cast of the show. When a fan can't keep track of how many spin-offs a show has, it's clear that it's popular. 
The TLC show, which began exposing the travels of foreigners visiting the United States on a K-1 visa and working their way to the altar in 2014, has only grown in popularity as the years have passed. One great season led to another, but the couples struggled to keep up at times, despite the fact that most couples do not find their happily ever after. 90 Day Fiancé makes their stories unforgettable with drama that rivals a Broadway performance. Despite the fact that some scenes appear real enough to make viewers gasp or cry, it's the stars mouthing statements like, who is against the Queen will die, that leave fans wondering, why? Some cast members of 90 Day Fiancé have come forward to blame the extra dramatic moments on the script. Cassia may not be a regular on reality TV since her divorce from Jason Hitch, with whom she participated on season two of 90 Day Fiancé. She knows how to stir things up. And his car has no air conditioner, so when we are inside the car, it's terrible. Although the show's couples are 100% real, the Brazilian lady said that most of the rest of the show is not. Cassia, on the other hand, claimed that the TLC show is scripted, saying that the network produces some spice by editing extremely well to create settings that increase friction between the couples. Ashley Martin and Jay Smith, who met in Jamaica and married in September 2020, called it quits after nearly three years together. I've been in America for two months now and things aren't going as well as I hope. But this isn't the only snafu that has rocked their reality show romance, especially with Jay's apparent infidelity. Jay said in an interview with In Touch that the show presented his relationship as a very poisonous relationship, as if he was the evil guy, which wasn't the case. The tattoo artist further claimed that the Tinder event was fabricated and that the women in the barbershop restroom were paid to cheat on him. The other way is Devon recently spoke out about 90 Day Fiancé being scripted. Despite the fact that her marriage to Korean husband Ji Hoon is over, Devon continues to suggest that the show is portraying her in an unfavorable light. Devon alleged on Instagram that most reality TV shows are phony and either scripted or edited to reflect a storyline that storyboard teams put up before filming. After the scene with daughter Drusilla running away, the Utah native notoriously accused 90 Day Fiancé's editors of placing her family in risk. I tell you what, it definitely seems like a fake show. My Feet Are Killing Me is considerably better. What do you think about My Feet Are Killing Me? Do you agree that it's better than 90 Day Fiancé? Or at least a little bit more realistic? Let us know in the comments section. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.